you know, my biggest thing was I just wanted to teach him how to play music. And, um, you know, it was really hard when I found out everything because I just, I wasn't going to be able to do that stuff that I wanted to do with him. And, um, you know, just all these dreams, and you just kind of feel them like crashing to the ground. And I heard a saying, it said, when you lose your parent, you've lost your past, but when you lose a child, you've lost your future. And I kind of felt like, you know, well, where's my future going from here? But, um, you know, even though I had all these dreams for Zeke, he accomplished so much more than I ever even wished that he could have. And it's two and a half months. I feel like he did more than, you know, in people's lives than I had done in my 20 years. He just, um, you know, he just had such a special feeling around him. And I love him with all my heart. And he's just blessed me so much by being able to go through this experience. And I just feel like I've grown up so much because of him. And I don't know why he picked us to come to us. But I just feel like the luckiest person in the world that he was here for the two and a half months that he was. Because he's been the best two and a half months of my life. And I remember, you know, before it was like, I don't know. I had these expectations and after Zeke was born, I mean, man, it was like a happy day if he pooped. <laughs> I need to start appreciating the small things. Not just the huge things, but every little moment in life matters so much because it's just it's short. Like that one sentence in Dust in the Wind, um, I close my eyes and the moment's gone. It is so fast and I just want to appreciate every minute.